Hello and welcome back to Fem Design video lessons. In this video, you will learn how to perform a construction stasis analysis in Fem Design software. So, to start with, we are in the analysis tab and calculations function here. Here you can find the construction stages tab, and here you can find the method to be used. We have two methods in Fem Design. Other one is incremental tracking method, and the other one is a co-structure method. If you don't know what this means, I highly recommend you to go to FemDesign wiki page and learn about the differences these methods have. Before performing the construction stage calculations, we are gonna go to structure tab, and after that to load tab to find out more what you need to do before the calculation. So for now, I'm going to press can cancel and go to structures. In here, you can find the construction stages button. By clicking here, you can see that I have already created a couple construction stages. I have simply done this by, I'm going to delete this for now. I have simply done this by pressing here and go into the construction stages window and generate by stories. In here, I'm gonna activate here. And you can of course add your own construction stages and delete the unnecessary ones. And here you have few options like newly created elements to be assigned to story and move it or modified elements to be auto signed by story. I'm gonna press OK here and let's see what we have currently. So here I can see my uh, construction stages by stories like this. You can also animate this like this and by clicking the view, I can stop the animation. Of course, you can resign uh, different structure elements to construction stage. I'm gonna show you how. So I want to, let's say I want to resign this slab here to be story 2. So I'm gonna select this to story 2. I'm gonna select the resign and I'm gonna press here. So now I can see when I go through these uh, uh, different construction stages that it, it doesn't appear in story 1. Uh, but when I scroll to story 2, it will appear. And animating it also shows this. I'm gonna uh, resign it back to story one by clicking here. So everything is back to normal like this. And now we are going to go to loads tab. In here, you will find the same, same symbol here, construction stages. By pressing here, you can see uh, that the window construction stages pops out and here you can see uh, the number and uh, stage uh, description. You can find initial stress state and activated load cases and factor for those load cases and partitioning. So I'm gonna press here. I'm gonna press insert. I'm gonna activate dead load here in this stage. I'm gonna set insert and I have one machine that will be installed to my structure before it's uh, uh, completely finished in my loads. So I'm gonna put that in. And now I can see that I have two activated load co cases that will be activated uh, since uh, from this point on when the construction state story one is being completed. For the story two, I can do the same. I'm gonna activate the wind and maybe I activate the live load here. So this was very simple uh, construction stage loads uh, example with couple of loads only. But from here, I'm just gonna press OK. And now we can go back to analysis tab. In here, I'm gonna set construction stages and increment tracking method. By pressing OK, I can see that the FemDesign starting is calculation and 
here we can see that it's now calculating construction stage and it's in the stage number one so it's gonna finish first the stage number one and then it will move to stage number two and here you can see that the calculation for stage number two has started and soon we should have finished the calculation so now we can see that the calculation have finished i'm just going to close here and in the quick tools you can see in the results that we have analysis and we have construction stages analysis here and here by selecting the transnational displacements of course you can select whatever results you want. I can see that here I can change the construction stages to be shown in my view. I'm just gonna select display. And here a new window will pop up, up where you can uh, change the construction stages either by sliding here or selecting the animate result where you can see all the construction stages being pop up one by one in my model. And by pressing something in the view, we'll stop the animation. So here was all about the construction stages. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.